And then, oh, and then so the one really weird standout one is the Lantern of Revealing. I just really <laughs> love the idea of the Lantern, like, or not the, the I just really love the aesthetic. The Lantern of Revealing is not very good, but the aesthetic of it is awesome because the idea of walking around with the spooky gothic lantern and you shine the light around and then you see all the invisible spirits wandering through the town that you couldn't normally see like aesthetically awesome it never gets fucking used in DD, and it, it, it it's rarely relevant so that's why it's an honorable mention because it's not really that oh cool God. but the what idea is the of it is cool yeah the idea oh, what yeah and it has a weird eyeball on it yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> so I just like the prem. I just like the concept. I like the aesthetic of it. Yeah. It's very fair. I do like it, the Lantern Revealing is one of those things where you said it, right? It's really unfortunate that it it's not will very almost good. never get used because yep. it just sort of undoes all of the DM's hard work they put into their dungeon. Well, right? you know, honestly, well, it, th- I, I, go for it. I think an item like the Lantern of Revealing. <sighs> I almost feel like it shouldn't be a lan. It shouldn't be what? <laughs> I almost said it should be a lantern. I almost feel like it shouldn't be a magic item. It should be like it's a story item, right? Like the lantern of revealing what you would do with it. If you wanted to actually make it feel cool in your game, you could let it have the ability like for anyone who's curious, you open it up. It, sh- it sheds uh, a 30 foot radius of light, uh, bright light and a 30 foot radius of dim light. Everything in the uh, invisible creatures in the light are visible as long as you keep the lantern on them. Mm. Uh, if you want to keep that as part of this, fine. But if you want to make this actually feel cool in your game, what you do is you give the players lantern revealing and you give it story powers rather than worrying about mechanical powers. And I know that story powers isn't like a thing, but what I mean is let's say the players walk into a town and you say to the players, okay, let's say there's you know it starts out it's a mystery no but they can't see anybody they're like where's all the townspeople blah 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 the players figure out the mystery they get to lantern what you say to them is the lantern is the only way you can see and communicate with all the people who are like who died in the town or or maybe not even died maybe the maybe the town are in this weird limbo dimension and you can only see and talk to them using the lantern So you have to wander around the town with the lantern trying to figure out who you're looking for. And then maybe you could have a like a searching mini game where the players try to like shine the lantern in certain areas. Maybe there's a puzzle involved where they have to find certain symbols. And then if they shine it, you know, they go down the wrong alley and they shine the lantern on like a ghost or something. The ghost like physically materializes and they get into a fight. That's how you do something like a lantern of revealing rather than just making it a generic magic item that you give to your players because they're probably not going to use it. But if you make it part of a specific quest, that's what I mean by story powers. If you let it do more and you make it part of a very specific quest line, it can fulfill the aesthetic that it's trying to invoke. You know, does it require attunement? No, no. Oh, see, that makes it better. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you could just have it. Yeah. I I mean, honestly, I don't even think it's that bad like is this like if you're doing a dungeon crawling campaign like this is great go around you find hidden yeah, passages that makes it better not a little bit i mean again but i still it's it not also gonna... gives the dm like more incentive to throw like some invisible, invisible enemies. more invisible things at your yes. players because then like the one player with it can be like yes. oh fuck oh it's my job and he, you know he's pointing the lamp but it's still not like not amazing but it, it's, it, it's helpful crawling around the dungeon and waving the lantern at the invisible enemies is is fun but it's not going to hit that aesthetic that i'm talking about you know what i mean it's not going to hit that feeling i'm talking about the vibe i'm talking about if you really want to invoke the vibe you have to make it a magic item that's like a key plot element to the to a a specific quest or a specific adventure you know what i mean like the i know you haven't matt and i don't know if you've seen any footage of it isaiah but the new lords of the fallen game there's a lantern you have that sees into the other dimension because the whole game exists on two oh, dimensions yeah. simultaneously. Yeah, and the yeah, lantern. I I was- yeah, so the lantern lets you see into the other dimension, and there will be puzzles or enemies or platforms or items that are in one dimension and not the other. So the whole game, you're sort of 
you'll get to certain areas and you'll be like, huh, okay, I can't seem to progress. And you pull out your lantern and start like waving it around in the spooky darkness, trying to find if there's something hidden on the in the other dimension. That's the kind of thing where I'm talking about, where if you want that kind of a feeling, you have to make the lantern more plot relevant and give it story superpowers. You know? I think I remember watching uh, and, the and, gameplay for that and they're like, oh, you know, you want to g- get past the poisonous swamp like yeah, all yeah. souls games we'll just go into the, into death the other dimension, dimension. yeah like, <laughs> like yeah fuck you swamp. and then even what you could do is after the players have i did not expect to spend this much time on this magic item after the players um do the quest where the lantern of revealing was like a a a plot element then you let them keep it and you just let it be its normal self that it is in the dmg right in the town it has this special power once they leave the town it's just its normal weapon so they have the memory and they still have it with them and it's still useful if it comes up. But th- it was really cool in that specific moment, that specific time during the campaign. Because, you know, honestly, that's what's going to happen with other than ma- weapon with magic items that are weapons and shit. A lot of magic items, you're going to use them a few times and you're going to go. Oh, remember that one time we used the rod of the the um immovable rod for the thing and that did the thing and we ripped the dragon's intestines out or whatever like you know you're gonna do that kind of thing once or twice anyway so just tie it into the quest line or a quest line the lantern of revealing (laughs) Mm. yep yes that made it sound like it's not an honorable mention but i was just describing a lot of extra work you'd have to do to make the magic item cool so you know Mm. so yeah Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Yes.